Let's now go to Hussein Oruch, the Deputy President of the IHH Humanitarian Relief Foundation. He joins us now from Istanbul. Really good to have you with us, Hussein. As we heard from our, our correspondents there, the relief operation across 10 provinces in southern Turkey that were affected by the earthquake is now very much in full swing. Can you tell us about the work that you're doing in the earthquake affected regions right now? Thank you very much. Good evening. Actually, IHH has started the operations on the both search and rescue and the relief operations. Almost 5,000 staff of IHH and volunteers of IHH from the first hour start the rescue operations, and we have saved almost 3,000 people from the rubbers. And simultaneously, we have started the relief operations. The need of the peoples are the huge. There was a shock on the peoples, all our grant peoples and grant relief operators was out of the work and they was take care about themselves. And the peoples from the outside, we have came and start the operations in all the cities. We have offices and we have a logistic centers. Immediately we have started the operations. We reach out the peoples, especially we have made a two important logistic center in the south parts of the Turkey. One is Reyhanlı, another is the Kilis for the Syrian operation. When this disaster happened, these two huge logistic centers start to give the services for our earthquake victims. Thousands of the bread have been prepared in Syria and in logistic centers. We reach out the peoples and our Bakeries have started and our community kitchens start and we have distributed thousands of the foods for the peoples on the ground. And on the uh, second and the third day, the shelter programs have been started. We have started to set up the tents and we work out the distribution of the blankets. We reach out, the, reach out the millions of the peoples from the all uh, provenance of this uh, earthquake. Beside the Turkey side, also there is a heavy destruct in the Syria. We have a very good operations before the earthquake in the Syria. Also, we have started similar operations inside the Syria. Of course, the Turkey side have been hit by the earthquake very badly, and we have started the operations. Now the things are under more control, and we are making the much more coordinated work with the government offices on the regions and we are reaching out to people for uh, ready foods and for the other things are continue. But the, now the most important thing is give a warm shelter for the people. It needs to be blanket, it needs to be uh, tents or uh, container villages and containers, individual containers are very, very important uh, from now on. Yes, and as you say, in the immediate aftermath of the earthquakes, uh, relief was very hard to find in Syria itself. We know that uh, from a reporter on the ground there that people were really desperate for aid and rescue efforts in Syria itself. But uh, it is reassuring to hear that your organization was on the ground there really as soon as, as humanly possible because, uh, as, as I mentioned, it was very hard for any relief to reach Syria. But uh, what's the situation in Syria right now? Do they have enough assistance, enough relief and aid supplies? Actually, the preparedness is very important. If you prepare yourself for that kinds of the disaster, you can act properly. And for the Syria, we have a very big operation. We are cooperating with the international organization, with United Nations and with others. And we have a very, very professional teams on the Syria. The need of the peoples, of course, is not fulfilled properly, but we are very active on the ground. What happened in Syria? Already there was the IDP on the ground, and second time they became the IDP. Whatever they have made for last three, four years for them, now they have backed the tents again. It is much more uh, worse and much more difficult, but the number of death tolls and the number of the peoples have in need is limited. What we are saying, the earthquake is not happened in only 11 cities of the Turkey. Also, this part of the Syria is 
part of us, and we can easily say 12 cities of Turkey have been affected, and we are working in these areas very, very heavily. Actually, the shelter is very important, but in Syria, the health system almost collapsed. Already, the health system was very weak. Now, number of the hospitals have been demolished, and the number of the doctors was already very limited. They are facing a very huge problem on the health system on Syria. We have to focus on that besides the shelter and the emergency food relief for the Syrians on the ground. Yes, and on Wednesday night, we saw the amazing generosity of the Turkish people, ordinary Turkish citizens, as well as Turkish businesses, really rallied together to raise more than $6 billion for the relief operation in the quake-hit provinces of the country. Can you imagine that a lot of that money will perhaps go a very long way in providing things like the temporary shelters that you mentioned, including uh, basic things such as food and water and other much needed supplies for uh, the millions of people who've been affected in those areas? Uh, actually, it is not a surprise for us. We have hidden the witnesses. Uh, how the Turkish peoples are cooperative for that kinds of the problems. Wherever earthquake happened, wherever any disaster happened, wherever the war has started, the Turkish peoples have contributed for that places. From Africa to Asia, from the west to east, everywhere there was a Turkish coordination and Turkish organization. Government and the civil society organization, the NGOs, was very active. They was contributing for these kinds of the problems. Of course, if the problems happens in Turkey, these corporations need to be expected. And I believe it is just starting. We have collected six billion. It is just starting. I believe in the coming days, these numbers, this money will be rise much more than this. Besides that these Turkish corporations, also internationally, there is a very, very good support for Turkey. Okay, Hussein Oruç, we will have to leave it there. But thank you so much for sharing uh, the really important work that you're conducting on the ground there. Really appreciate it.